Hey everybody, in this iClone Basics tutorial, we're going to talk about the basics of the Content Manager. So the Content Manager is essentially where you can find all your stuff, and we're going to explore that throughout the duration of this tutorial. So generally, uh, with default layout, your Content Manager will be over here on your left-hand side. You can see we can toggle between Scene, Visual, and Content Manager. This will be your default layout. Um, if you want, you can go up to Window, and you can find your Content Manager up here. You can press the F4 hotkey to make it invisible or invisible. I just pressed F4 there. Okay, and there's a couple different sections in the content store which we're going to explore first. The first section is the project section, which is used to kind of basically just demo features, okay? Uh, features that are included with iClone 7 and stuff that you've, uh, from packs that you've purchased possibly. So if we go over here into uh, characters, you can see there's facial demo and turntable. If you want to go back to the uh, previous folder, you can go over here to this uh, back to previous folder button here. Okay, and you can explore all the other ones here like PBR. There's a couple of cool ones in here um, and depth of field. All sorts of different projects that are set up so we can just basically demo a lot of the cool features in iClone. Next up, we have the Actor tab, okay? So in Actor tab, you'll find everything relating to your characters, uh, their accessories and parts and everything like that. So under Character, you'll find all of your uh, dudes down here. These are the default ones included with iClone uh, 7, except for Curve Man and a couple of others there, okay? And you can go into the other folders like this, okay? So, uh, for example, I have this stylized character morphs pack from Tokomotion. And then you'll see kind of a hierarchy up here. Uh, you can go back to your previous folder by clicking this button here, or you can just go to the uh, separate folders by clicking the individual items up here, okay, in the little uh, hierarchy uh, section there, okay? You can go to accessories, hottest hairstyle, and then hair, and then go back um, by individual uh, folder structure, okay? All right, so that's all the actor stuff. Uh, that's basically all you need to know about that. And next up is the animation tab. This contains all the animations for your characters, uh, for motions, uh, Persona Motion Plus script. We'll apply a couple of motions a little bit later on in this tutorial. Okay, you can see there's a whole bunch of uh, different motion packs. Now, uh, keep in mind as well that a lot of you may not have all these packs that I'm exploring right now. Um, I've purchased a lot of packs and, and kind of added to my collection here. I have a big library of, of motions. Uh, you won't have this many motions if you just have the default iClone 7. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You won't definitely won't have this many folders. All right, so that's the motions for your character. Uh, you can apply them to your characters. Pretty simple stuff. The next tab is the stage tab up here. Okay, so the stage tab is basically everything to do with the environment or atmospheric settings. Uh, 3D scenes and, and effects and stuff like that. So you'll find a two, simple 2D backgrounds, uh, 3D scenes. Um, these height maps are a good a good way to start your uh, your outdoor scene, perhaps. Okay, and then there's uh, if we go back further, there's uh, different atmospheres, um, HDR atmos HDR maps, and, uh, and basic atmospheres, and we can talk more about those in details in other tutorials. Um, different cameras as well. Okay, camera defaults and uh, special effects like blur and, and uh, lookup tables or LUT or LUTs, whatever you want to call them. Okay, and then there's image layers here as well. You can throw image layers over top of your uh, your scene. Pretty cool stuff. And uh, various light settings, okay? So this is, like I mentioned, just the kind of basic atmosphere to add to your scene. Next up is probably the most important, uh, aside from the actor tab, which is the set tab, okay? So the set tab contains all of your grass, trees, water, sky, terrains, uh, particles, and props. Okay, so in props, you'll find basically all the props that you have in your scene here, okay? Um, such as 3D blocks, these are the basic ones here. Uh, lots and lots of stuff to, to look through here. Okay, I'm just going to go back and kind of explore a couple others here. For example, like um, tessellation props, okay? Uh, lots and lots of stuff that you can explore on your own time. But uh, And then you'll have some that don't have a folder, uh, just kind of installed right here as well okay and uh, like i mentioned i've installed numerous content packs so you won't have as many uh, uh things as, as i do here in this little section all right the next uh section is called the media section and here's where you find all of your materials uh, if you have any music and uh, textures you'll find as well in the material library you'll find all of your substance materials uh, i've purchased the substance power 200 pack and the substance super tools packs so i'll find all those and various embedded substances as well in the next tab here, you'll find the packs. So these are basically uh, packs that you've uh, that you've purchased before. Okay, so they'll they'll show up here. 
Uh, you can click in the individual ones here and just and uh, apply them to your uh, scene this way as well. That's where you'll that's what you'll find in the uh, the package section there. All right, let's go back to uh, set here really quickly, and I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to go into like a random uh, folder here, maybe this uh, uh, QTE and Roam pack. Okay, this is a pretty cool pack that you can find in the content store. Lots of uh, different cool stuff here. Um, now, one thing I wanted to mention here is. If you think this layout, if you want to see like more items on the screen at once, you can go up to here and you can select change your view mode or else you can just press the control one hotkey. And when you do that, it'll toggle between these view modes. Okay. One, two, and three. In addition to changing the uh, display mode, you can also click on the left side of the uh, content manager here and you can uh, reveal the directory structure of the uh, folder that you're in. And you can also go here and control one, control one, control one to toggle between the modes here. If you want to go back, you can just click and drag this little doodad here and it'll close the entire folder structure window. You can also click and drag your viewport as well to uh, make it larger so you can see, you know, the time it was added to your, to your uh, folder or, or something like that. Okay. You can always find it that way as well. And you can resize the content window. You can also undock the content manager as well by uh, clicking and dragging it. You can rearrange it or just click and drag it like this um, to wherever you want in your scene. I normally like to keep it over here. Okay. And I normally like to keep uh, this uh, view, uh, view mode. Okay. And you can also go up to here and you can undock your window, hide your content manager this way. Okay. So if you do that, you can hide it and then you can press F4 and that'll just bring your content manager back up. So F4. F4 will toggle your content manager on and off. Now let's go back to a folder where uh, that is included default with iClone 7 here. Uh, the PBR folder, we should be able to find it somewhere down here. Everything is arranged uh, alphabetically. Little PQ, there we go. Oh, you'll see it with the uh, underscore at the, at the front there. That's why we don't we can't see it uh, in alphabetical order. It has an underscore in the front there. Okay, so let's go into there. And in there, there's a loft scene. Okay, and you can find a whole bunch of stuff in the loft scene. Uh, that we can apply to our scene. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to zoom out of my uh, character a little bit here. Now there's three ways you can apply your uh, props to your scene or characters to the scene. The first way is just by clicking it and click it like this dining chair for example and there's an apply button at the very bottom. Okay so once you click that it'll apply it to the scene root which is the very very middle of your scene indicated by this little red green and blue axis right here and you can press the W hotkey which should bring up your movement gizmo and you can move it around wherever you want. Okay. If you want to delete it, you can go ahead and press delete. Another way is you can simply click and drag it into your scene. If you click and drag it, it'll just apply to your scene wherever you click and drag it. And a third way is you can just simply double click it. So if I just double click it, it'll apply also to the scene root. Okay. So those are three separate ways that you can apply the object to your scene. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one. In addition, you can just right click your uh, object and go to find file. Okay. And it'll open the explore window and you'll find your file right here. You can hold your control key and scroll your mouse button to, uh, you know, get a better look at the thumbnails and stuff. And we can apply it directly from the explore window that way as well and click and drag it in. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete that one. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can, uh, apply a character and modify it and then save it as a custom character. Okay. So I'm going to go over here to the actor tab. I'm going to go to my character folder and let's go ahead and apply the, uh, motion a uh, dummy uh yeah female is fine no it's the male okay since you already have a female on the scene again just click and drag it onto our scene and our character will apply now when you're applying motions to your character what you have to do is you have to go to your animation tab and under the motion folder there's a bunch of different motions here this icon 7 motion folder we'll find uh, some male motions here this will include uh a number of different motions including this uh, you know hold gun and and uh break door for example if you want to apply it to your character simply left click and wait till there's a yellow selection box on top of your character and then apply it that way okay and then if you play uh, press play you'll see your character will uh, perform their animation walking towards the scene like that okay in addition if you have your character selected you can just double click your uh motion and apply it that way and then press play and then he'll just have his uh cool pose two ways to apply the motion to your character now, say for example, you want to make some, you know, customizations to your character and you want to save it as your own custom character. So here we're finally getting into this custom tab that you may have noticed before. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select my character, go up here to materials, 
we're going to do a simple modification to the base color texture channel right here by going down here and pressing the uh, adjust color button. And we'll just adjust, adjust the brightness of this character to pitch black so he looks like an evil kind of ninja robot. Okay, and uh, we can do that or we can also go down here as well. Um, if we set that base color back up to a regular brightness, we can also go down here and uh, go to our diffuse color map. Uh, this is basically just the overall color of your character for all the maps. And I click that and we can maybe change it to like a dark kind of wine type red color. All right, pretty cool stuff. Now if you want to save that as a custom character, all I need to do is go to your custom tab over here and you want to go into the same folder uh, in this case. So again, actor and custom and double click on your character folder since you're saving a character. You can see I've already saved a couple of them here. And just go ahead and press the plus button at the very bottom. And that'll allow you to save your, your custom character. Okay. We'll call him Wine Ninja. Okay. And then what you can do is you can just go ahead and apply this character again at any point in your scene. And Wine Ninja will have a twin there. Okay. And you can move around and apply motions too. You can also do the same thing for your uh, props as well. If you want to uh, customize your props, let's go ahead and go to our materials over here. And I'm going to choose a material, maybe further down here, let's try and find a wooden texture. Uh, we can go into our substance, uh, sub power 200 uh, pack there. Okay, and under wood, we'll find a number of different uh, types of wood in this pack. Let's go ahead and just apply this first one here. Okay, you see we had a nice uh, shiny looking uh, chair right there. A glossy type of wood and what you want to do is you can go to your uh, set tab now and go to your custom tab and since we're saving it as a prop we need to go to our props folder and press the plus button here and save it as a chair now keep in mind as well that uh, when you're saving your prop you may want to like zoom in on it uh, for example like this um, just zoom in on, on my uh, um, in my viewport here just something like this and we can just right click this and uh, delete the old one. Okay, I'm just going to delete that old chair. And let's save it one more time. Now you can see when we save it one more time that our uh, viewport, our uh, thumbnail, is a bit more accurate. Okay, so that's just a little hint. When you're saving your uh, props or your characters, you may want to zoom in on the uh, individual item in order to, uh, you know, give us a more accurate looking uh, thumbnail here. Okay, so there we go. And then we can just go ahead and apply this. Click and drag and apply it to our scene, and there you go. We have two uh, exactly chairs that look exactly the same. Maybe we have uh, one chair for each of our characters when they finally get tired of uh, doing all of their cool poses and talking poses and stuff like that. All right, one final thing I want to show you here is the uh, option to search for items in your content manager. Okay, so let's go to our prop. Let's go to our template tab, okay? And let's go to, uh, for example, in this folder. We have a loft scene folder. Um, you know, say it's a lot bigger. I want to try and find something uh, in this folder. I want to find a table. How many tables do I have? I can just type it, click in the search field right here and type in table and press enter. And you can see we have three table items within this folder. Okay, that's a pretty simple search. And over here you'll see we have find packs in content store and find items in marketplace. Okay, now if we're looking for, you know, more table options than this, we may want to click on this and find packs in the content store that contain the keyword cable, or table, not cable, rather. Okay, so you'll see here, it'll open up the content store with a search already set up for us with the keyword table right here, okay? And if we move down a little bit, you'll find all the packs that contain the keyword table, okay? A lot of cool different types of packs that you can purchase from the content store, okay? Now keep in mind the content store is where you normally find uh, larger pack sizes, okay? You don't have individual items in the content store. Whereas if you go into the marketplace, okay, you can see there's 485 items in the marketplace. If we click on that, it'll open up the uh, marketplace and you'll find in iClone, you'll find a search field with like the keyword table there and you'll find all the different tables in the marketplace. So a lot more, okay? Uh, but you can uh, save them as or purchase them as individual items. And that's the main difference between the content store in the marketplace and the content store is also curated by us at Reillusion. All right. Now, if you want to search for all the tables you have in your entire prop library, you can go back to your prop folder here 
and then search for table here. And this will take a little bit longer, but you'll see that we have, or we should have, a lot more tables pop up or table related items here. You can see table, tablet appears there as well, okay? And I have a lot more table props appearing. So I have a lot of table options, but again, if I want even more, I can go into the content store or the marketplace. And again, as always, you can right click on any item and click on find file and you can find the directory structure or you can find that file. Okay, so that's about all I want to cover for the content manager. Hopefully you learned a lot. Uh, that's the basics of it anyways. Um, so uh, as always, make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com and uh, our other iClone basics tutorials for uh, the beginners learning how to use iClone. And I hope to see you in the next video.